Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you didn't already, my name is Tara, and today I'm just gonna be doing my August favorites. So I started collecting products and I'm like, I don't really have that many to talk about this month. And then I was like, oh, maybe I do. <laughs> so let's jump right into it. Um, the first one is gonna be from my July subscription box and it's the Bare Minerals Invisible Light Duo. And I love this. So you have the um, illuminating side and the matte side, which basically look like, like nothing. They're a translucent powder. I really like both of these. I don't like to be matte because I have dry skin, but I really like setting my under eyes with this and then setting my entire face with this one, the illuminating one. I just think it's a great product. It feels like there's nothing on my skin. My skin looks absolutely flawless. And I don't know, I've just really been enjoying this. Can you stop scratching on there, cat? Thank you. So my next product might be kind of a controversial one, but it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. And I just love this. I've used this at least half a dozen times and it doesn't even look like it's been touched. So, I mean, I, I totally get what everyone's saying. I will definitely like, I've been using electric and cube a lot. My favorite shade is cube. I absolutely adore this shade. I think that like the camera does not do it justice. It is just so freaking pretty. But yeah, I've been using both cube and electric. Well, they swatch like crap, but they're beautiful. Almost every single day, I have been throwing um, Dawn into my crease and then just calling it a day. Um, you know, I've really played with almost every single color in this palette and I just really, really, really like it. I can get very simple looks out of it, very basic looks out of it, and also amp it up if I want to. Now, a lo another little like palette I've been playing around with again is the Tardis Pro To Go palette and this is another one that I've used so many times and doesn't look like it's even been touched. It smells freaking like cocoa powder. It smells so good. But you can actually get a lot of looks from this palette. I really, really, really like it. I think that they did a great job with the color selection and I just, I don't know, I just really, really like it. They blend out beautifully. They are super pigmented. Little goes a long way. What more can you ask for? So the next product that I've really been enjoying is the Japanese Quick, I think, Velvet Touch Primer. And I got this in, I think, my Ipsy bag. And I really love this. I apply it. My face just feels like smooth and silky. And I, I'm sure there's probably silicone in it because, yeah, I think there is because it is just so freaking smooth on the skin. It blurs my pores. It is amazing. When I run out of this, I will probably buy the full size. Excuse me. So the next product I wanna talk about is a brush. And this is my new favorite brush for highlighting. I still really enjoy my Real Techniques one, but I really have been loving this. This is the Morphe R40 brush and it's from the Rose Gold Collection, obviously, and it just gets, like, exactly where I need it to, and it just blends it out so beautifully. Like, I am just obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with it. Cannot tell you how much I love this brush because I just love it that much, just so much. So the next product that I have been wearing on my lips, like, almost every single time I'm putting lipstick on is the Hourglass girl and peacemaker so this is what it looks like it is just such a beautiful hydrating formula I mean this is just a sample size but I love it I think I got this as like a point perks at Sephora I really like it I'll probably never run out of this I've used it so many times I have put a dent in it but it is just so nice comfortable beautiful it's kind of like the color I have on right now but it's not this um, but I really, really, really like this. If you can get like the point perks of, the, of this, I highly recommend it because I know the full size is like outrageously expensive. Yeah. I 
like little mini lipsticks and mascaras because I will never use a full size of either. Or a mascara I will, but I'll throw it out before I use it all. So the next product that I have been obsessed with this month is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. And I usually do my brows with the Benefit, um, what is it, the Benefit, this, the Benefit Goof Proof Brow or the Cub Brow. I use Benefit products or the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And then I usually set it with the Goof Proof, but, um, or not the goof proof, what is it? Gimme brow, I usually set it with the gimme brow. But then I found this guy. I love this so much. And it's like $3 at Ulta. It just gets my hairs and lifts them up exactly where I need it to be. It's not crunchy, they stay in place. Like, total dupe for the gimme brow. Such a good product, I love it so much. And I highly, highly, highly recommend this, especially for the price, I mean, come on, seriously. And I think that's it for all of my good products. Now for my disappointing products. Um, this is CEO uh, by Sunday Riley, and this is just like the little sample size. First of all, I don't like when skincare comes in pots because you are sticking your finger in there and it's disgusting. I use a Q-tip or a spatula to get in there. I love Sunday Riley as a brand. They're one of my favorite skincare brands, but this just did nothing for me. And like it smells rancid already and I haven't even been using it that many times so I just don't think that it brightens my skin at all I use my drunk elephant vitamin C um, face lotion spread whatever and that works so much better than this I actually see results and my skin does feel bright and does feel nice whereas this is just like a very expensive moisturizer basically then the next product I want to talk about is from Wet n Wild, and it's the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Tip Eyeliner in black. Let me just talk about this. This bleeds so bad. Of course, well, yeah, you can see it. It bleeds so bad. It is just not what I thought it was going to be. Like, look at that. Like, the only reason why I got that pigment is because I really push down on it and who's gonna push down like that so it's just not a good eyeliner like the tip is already going bad it bled so bad for me when I tried to do a wing with it like I hope you guys can see how bad that that's bleeding it was just a hot mess like it just keeps getting worse like it is such a bad eyeliner do not buy this do not buy this at all it is so awful don't buy it and the last disappointing product for me is from peak and it is the metal matte naturally quick drying blush in a boo I really like their packaging I think this is like so cute and innovative like the way they have this like going out I tried using this and it was just a hot hot mess it's supposed to be a cream blush it looks absolutely beautiful like I really like the color and everything right up my alley but it just does not work like it is more like a stain and it just lifts my foundation I just always have to smell things it lifts my foundation it just doesn't do it for me I got it in a subscription box and I it's going in the trash basically all right so that is it for my yays and nays like a, quite a few yays a few nays but all in all I mean I haven't been wearing that much makeup this month because I haven't been feeling the greatest but yeah um, I really hope that you guys like this video if you do give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below what was your favorite product this month or products this month have you tried some of these products that I've mentioned what were your thoughts on them and I really hope you guys subscribe before you leave. I post at least three times a week. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.